Yo, what's up guys, it's Prince Charming. Today we're gonna be checking out, this is what the cast of It should really look like. So I haven't even watched the It movie, so what I would know about the cast, who knows, but we're gonna be checking out before and after of the It movie and what the cast really look like. I don't know which It they're gonna use, whether it's gonna be the old, like the one in the 90s or the 80s, I don't know what year that was, or the one that just came out, but either or, it has the same premise, same plot or whatnot, so let's go ahead and check out this video. Don't forget to hit me with a like on this video, hit that thumbs up button for me right now. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video. Go ahead and comment a scary moment or a part in it, either movie that scared you. I remember the old It movie when uh, the very end when he turns into a spoiler alert, when he turns into a giant spider and he starts like just attacking people. Like that was kind of creepy to me. Like this still gives me the chills. It's probably because I have a fear of spiders. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out the It cast and how they should really look like. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Bill. As one of the most important characters Young in the story, Bill. we thought that he would be really recognizable. In the book, it was hard to imagine what stuttering Bill looked like, but we had some clues here and there in the story. We could read that Bill's face turned me a as stutter. red as his hair when he was talking. <laughs> he also had a goofball grin when he was riding his bike. Then we could read about his blue eyes, and he was also described as the tallest and most authoritative figure in the group. But many things changed when Jaden Lieberher got the role. The actor looked nothing like the boy described in the book, but at least they had the same heart, and that's all that matters. Ben. This character might not be liked by all the other kids, but all the grown-ups loved him because he was polite, shy, and sensitive. But when it comes to his look, most of the descriptions revolved around his weight. Yes, this they always- the reasons why he was bullied. Ben used to wear an Ivy League t-shirt. There was going when about he people's weight. Making fun of him, he decided to stick to loose clothes instead. His look also changed when Henry decided to carve his name into his stomach. Ooh. A scene that we all remember from the movie. This time, I'm the actor Jeremy Ray Taylor looks exactly like the Ben that we imagined. And we bet that this is exactly what casting directors thought when they first saw him. They always going about somebody's weight. Like, you couldn't get cast off of your skills. <laughs> no, guys, I'm not stupid. I know the whole scene of Hollywood. You gotta look the part, you know? It's it's more of looking the part than of being able to act the part. Or it's the other way around. I don't know. I'm not an actor. <laughs> don't take advice from me. Everybody who wants to be an actor, go ahead and follow your dreams, man. Like, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. A lot of people told me I couldn't do YouTube. A lot of people say, oh, there's so much videos on YouTube. So many people trying to do YouTube. You're never gonna make it. It's too saturated. You're not gonna make it, Prince. Well, look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. Hey, I'm getting baked, but... Richie. If you read this book, oh, this you know is that Finn. Richie is a trash mouth who can't keep quiet. This is what and we like. what we loved about him. However, some of his jokes were really inappropriate. So we think that it was a good decision to forget about some of them. Instead, he became an annoying oh, brother. boy. When Grow it comes up. to his look, Richie's appearance was always described as slightly awkward which didn't help with the fact that his mouth constantly got him in trouble. And we also constantly heard about his teeth and his glasses being broken. Damn! He dropped. The screenwriter he always had dropped. a different way to represent this character. But when it comes to his look, Finn Wolford was the best actor the casting directors could find. Mike. Black guy the only black that dies. In the little city, Mike easily <laughs> Does stood he die out, first? And this is what made him a victim of bullies. However, if you read the book, you'll notice that his family really changed in the movie. His parents were alive in the book, and he used to work for them, which is what gave him the chance to help the Losers Club. But in the new movie, his parents both passed away in a fire, wow. and Mike was raised by his grandfather and Wow! Son. When it comes to his look, he is always described as incredibly fast, agile, and slim. This is why the farm kid easily escaped the bullies. The story might not be the same, but we can totally imagine Chosen Jacobs in the role of Mike. Why do they have to let this man's family die off? Like, how come they couldn't survive? Why can't they mom, Ma, Ma Dukes, and Pops be alive to tell the story? Like, he, they didn't die in the book. Why do you gotta kill them off in the movie? Like, they survived the literature. It's usually the book where they just kill off characters, and then the movies is where they keep them because people love to see their favorite actors in the movies, their favorite characters in the movies. But they just said, nah, man, you don't need a parent. You don't, you don't need moms and dads. <laughs> Your grandfather got you. He can raise you. You good, bro. Eddie. We Eddie. can find a lot of descriptions of this character in the book, you so it's like hard geek. to cast the wrong person. <laughs> but no matter what, we had some clues. 
His mother was always convinced that he was going to hurt himself because he was small and fragile. Mm. Even when he was an adult, his face was described as thin and delicate looking. It didn't help that most of the descriptions of the character centered around asthma. But if there is one other <laughs> thing that we learned, it is that he had gray eyes. It was hard to cast the wrong person for this role. But what we love the most about Jack Dylan you don't have gray eyes. is that he really brought life to this character. Beverly. The only female. As the only Who's girl at the Losers Club, it was easy for I'm this character to stand out. In the book, she wore cheap and old clothes ah! that didn't even fit her. But Ben still thought that she was the prettiest girl he had ever seen. Oh, Ben Beverly likes her. had long auburn hair, gray-green eyes, mom. and milky skin. However, in the novel, she was always nice to the members of the Losers Club, so they weren't really impressed by her. But in the movie, the young boys just go gaga over the presence of a girl. No matter what, we can Figures. say that Beverly <laughs> kept her beautiful look, and Sophia Lillis was the perfect actress to portray that. I mean, you gotta go Google over a girl, because they don't seem like they see females like this on a daily basis. Like, females don't really interact with them, really talk with them. I remember when girls first started, really started getting interested in guys, like, they started talking to guys. It was an amazing transition, amazing period for us boys when girls <laughs> didn't think we were all cutie infested and whatnot. That's <sighs> what I'll give to be young again. I mean, clearly I don't want to be young again. I, I love being 21 and grown. It's just, man, living carefree without any responsibilities, you can't beat it. Henry. And let's not forget about the characters that we love to hate like Henry, the bully. As the oldest member of the group, he was 12, but big for his age. However, time traveling from the 50s to the 80s changed him a little bit. You got a he used mullet to have now. a flat top haircut, used a lot of wax, and wore a pink motorcycle jacket with an eagle in the back. What? However, as the movie was set three decades after, he lost his jacket, and his look was more adapted to the 80s. No matter what, we could still feel the 50s vibe in this character. Anyway, we won't talk too much about Nicholas Hamilton's look because we don't know what he is going to do if we upset him. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> mull it, bruh. <laughs> he might not be the leader, but he was probably the most terrifying bully. The book wasn't really specific when it comes to his description, but we still know that teachers thought he was he goes missing? a lump of clay that had been crudely fashioned to look like a boy. With his slack and pallid moon face and his low IQ score, grown-ups underestimated him but only the kids knew how crazy he was. Stephen King fans were surprised to see Owen Teague in the role of Patrick and even thought that he would be a better victor. But when we saw him acting, we immediately changed our mind. So is this the bully that like comes at the end of the day with a flamethrower, burns it alive and saves all the kids? Is this how this movie goes or is he just a bully that goes missing in the beginning of the movie? <laughs> see, that's the thing. I don't understand why these kids have to go after it. Like, call the SWAT. You don't need to do this by yourself. The government is not paying you to get rid of it. Stan. My hair is pissing me this off. This young boy was bullied because he was a grade behind and he was also religious. But You're even a grade if behind. he was a Jew, I'll bully you too. the stereotypes didn't hold up for him because he had a regular nose and he was always broke. We are not sure if that is a compliment. <laughs> when it comes to his look, Stan was described as fastidious and people could easily Miss guess always it when they at him. <laughs> He also had black hair, which is one of the only features mentioned in the book. When you look at the actor wide left, you can see his hair is brown. However, he does have a similar personality, which we can easily see on screen. Pennywise. The clown, so finally. Him, you remember him forever because you'll meet him many times in your nightmares. In the book, his face was painted white. He was bald except for the tuft of orange hair on each side of his head. And Georgie also the man was going bald. He that rogue game. Not yellow, but blue. Ooh. That's a lot different than what we saw in the movie, as he had a little bit of hair on top of his head, and his eyes looked darker. He looks creepy, no though. What, Pennywise always looks terrifying. If you could be one character from Stephen King's It, who would it be? Yeah, regardless of what his eye color is, it looks scary nonetheless. Regardless, I do not want to be meeting him down the alley. Do not want to see it in my dreams. I am good, bro. You need to go your own way. That was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So that was how the It cast is supposed to look like. Um, They look similar to how the book describes them, except for a, a few like differences and similarities and whatnot. At the end of the day, man, the black kid's parents didn't need to die. That's all I'm saying. They did not need to die. Like, why do that? But don't forget, if you want to like, subscribe, and comment on this video, if you want to reply from your Shirley Prince Army. My name is Prince of Holcomb. Stay trying, my friends.